huge news for the Sea of Thieves community as Rare unveiled their plans for part 2 of season 6 and I have to say this really makes the extra time worth it as we're looking at a near anniversary level of content. Let's dive into it. So as of the 1st of April, Rare released some new information about what we can expect later this month as part of the long awaited Pirate Legend Voyage but they managed to keep it a secret that there's a boatload of more content to come too. We'll get to the voyage later but the biggest announcement is Captaincy is finally coming and it's coming later this month. <laughs> I just knew it, I knew it would come out, I knew months of inaccurate speculation and moaning would summon the update. We get our taste of what's to come from Mike Chapman who spoke to Xbox Wire about this monumental update. Chapman says, Around launch we planned on releasing our first major content update in June 2019, roughly three months after the launch of Sea of Thieves. This update was meant to include pets and an elusive update for Pirate Legends. The original plan was to have Pirate Legends spawn in the Legendary Tavern and use that as a jumping off point for their adventures. Along with this, these Legendary Captains would have had access to cosmetics that were exclusive to them, as well as the ability to name your ship. Then they would burst out of the waterfall into the Sea of Thieves. It became clear at launch that wasn't something that was feasible at the time and due to the community feedback we altered our content plans, switching to The Hungering Deep which was released in May 2018. Now after constant moaning from some of our biggest community members, particularly a shiny ray, we can finally announce the captaincy update we'll be releasing in April. Mike then goes to talk about what we can expect. We very much are delivering our original plans with a few slight tweaks. Players can purchase and own ships, one of each type, where we will give the players the ability to name their ship. To do this, they simply have to become a legendary pirate and then head over to the Pirate Emporium and purchase a deed from the shopkeeper which will enable them to name their ships. Be careful as the name is permanent and can only be changed with a name change potion which can be bought from the Pirate Emporium, much like the appearance changing potion that we introduced in 2019. Legendary pirates will also have the ability to decorate the interior of their ship including the captain's table, interior furniture, the map table, the harpoons, compass and rope colour to really make your ship your own. As of day 1, players will have access to the legendary captain's table, compass, harpoon, map table, captain's chair and ropes. Finally, new commendations will be available both for using your own ship and playing with the same crew members. We really wanted to reward loyalty among crews, so completing each of these commendations should reward players with a hefty pile of doubloons and the 8th recolor of the rotten bilge rat set, this time in a bright strawberry colour. And there we have it folks, the captaincy update we all, all have wanted and I'm hyped. Mike then talks about what an achievement this is and how this expands the game. You can read more in the article if you want, link in the description. Moving on we get our next huge feature which might be even better than the captaincy update. The Sea of the Damned map expansion. This looks to be a pirate legend exclusive area too or at least you need one on your crew to enter it. Joni, executive producer on Sea of Thieves, back with another dev update, chimes in on the Xbox Y article to give us some juicy details. In June last year, the team were immensely proud to collaborate with Disney when releasing Sea of Thieves A Pirate's Life, a crossover expansion featuring characters from Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean based on the popular ride Pirates of the Caribbean which can be found at Disneyland Florida, Disneyland Paris, Disneyland Beijing and, and Disney Village Smethwick. In this expansion, we release 5 tall tales in which 2 of them, players get to experience the Sea of the Damned, through the memories of Disney's Jack Sparrow, featured in the 3 Pirates of the Caribbean films, Curse of the Black Pearl, Dead Man's Chest and the one with Keith Richards in it. So in Season 6, we decided to open up the Sea of the Damned as an explorable area which can be accessed via the in-game portals, the ones players will be familiar with. In order to appeal to the new players, we've also increased the number of these portals from 6, located at each outpost, to 12 where there'll be two at each outpost now, making the game more accessible than ever. As for the exact details of the Sea of the Damned, we'll be speaking more about it in a future dev update, but for now you can expect new loot, new voyages, a new AI threat and a boss fight with Grey Marrow. And you're not alone on the server, two other crews will be in the same world, keeping that shared world experience that we all know and love. Finally, some juicy new content aimed solely at Pirate Legends and we'll be getting a new location to explore too. I'm really curious to see what the new AI threat will be, but this has given me Forsaken Shores vibes already. This is certainly rivaling the anniversary update for me, especially when you consider what I'm about to tell you next. I can reveal that the next set of tall tales is coming with this update, again exclusive to Pirate Legends. As a Sea of Thieves partner, some story focused channels have been given the go ahead to reveal this. Later this April, Rare will be releasing Blind Bob's Lagoon, a new mini episodic adventure surrounding the history, the life and death of Blind Bob, where we'll get to witness his rise to fame in three brand new tall tales, one of which will take place in the Sea of the Damned. And I can proudly share the official synopsis too. Sea of Thieves Blind Bob's Lagoon plunges players into the depths of Blind Bob's piratical career. 
Plays will uncover the truth about the Golden Bananas, the defeat of Bronzebeard, the debate over the invention of the Eye of Reach, and finally, The Blinding. A new cosmetics, titles, and experience the story of the most comedic corsair ever. All in Sea of Thieves. I couldn't have thought of a better character than Blind Bob to lead the storyline, and it makes so much sense too. If the adventures are covering Flameheart at the moment, it's a great idea to get these essential story beats released before we can inevitably see some more Flameheart tall tales, maybe later this year? Fingers crossed. I have to say, it's not all good news with this update. Unfortunately, returning to the Xbox Wire article, Joni, executive producer on Sea of Thieves, Blade of Mikola, and would-be Pirate King shares an update on Hit Reg. As players voiced their concerns about the state of hit registration in Sea of Thieves, we did outline our plans to improve the state of this earlier. One fix we looked at was implementing a hitscan element to our guns, instead of the projectile based system currently in the game. It has become clear to us that the weapons aren't working as intended, so we've made the difficult decision to remove the flintlock, blunderbuss and eye of reach until we're ready to implement this new system, expected in 2024. However, until then players will still be able to live out their swashbuckling fantasies with the cutlass. In some more positive news, Arena Fanatics and Legendary Sea Dogs were upset to see that we will be releasing an alternate variant of the Legendary Sea Dog weapons. We have heard the feedback, with many of you saying that your grind was pointless, now the new Legendary Fortune weapons will be released. Despite these being clearly different and not tied to Arena in any way, we have decided to leave these weapons vaulted and shall not be released. On the other hand, as the community likes to pick and choose what should be exclusive and what shouldn't, even in cases where cosmetics are clearly different, the team has decided we will not be releasing any cosmetics outside of the Pirate Emporium after the conclusion of Season 6. We understand this may be frustrating, but you're all annoying af. Not good news at all. I was really looking forward to the new cosmetics and the future cosmetics in the game, and because of you all, I will not be getting my Flameheart hat, jacket and skeleton curse, possibly ever at this point. Finally, we're on to the new Pirate Legend Voyage, the thing we were promised so long ago and we can finally stop grinding Thieves Haven runs, or hopping for Forts of Fortune. Here's some details from the man himself, Mike Chapman. We know players have always dreamed about becoming a Pirate Legend and what that meant for the endgame content. I think it's safe to say those dreams will become a realisation, introducing the new Pirate Legend Voyage, Pirate Lord's Plunder. This voyage combines the best aspects of all quests in Sea of Thieves, epic storytelling, rich lore, and loot beyond your wildest dreams. Players will embark on a special quest, retracing the Pirate Lord's footsteps through various activities, such as sitting on their fat asses, drinking in the Athena's hideout all day, abandoning your wife and infant twins, creating an alliance circle when people actually want to be pirates, and letting your crew down leading to a mutiny, losing your leg, in turn allowing the rise of a shady skeleton lord and his trading company. We can't wait for you to experience this when it launches later in April as part of Season 6. It looks like we'll finally be living our best life as the Pirate Lord in his latest voyage. It sounds like an absolute blast, and I'll be elated to roleplay as one of the laziest men in existence. I did manage to get a quick interview with Mike Chapman about this, and this is what he had to say about the latest voyage. New and interesting ways. Always love how he speaks with such passion. Mike, I really do appreciate the comments. And that does it. You can expect more information coming out later this month, and as it's the first of the month, we might have a little while to wait. Pirate Legends are actually getting the content they deserve, and I'm all for it. On one final note, Beyond NRG has released their new Sea of Thieves bundle, Athena Colada, which includes a tub of the new flavour, which tastes like pineapple squash, and easily the best flavour, and you get a nice shaker to boot. Oh, and with this new batch, you can win an Athena chest worth £600 if you find a golden patch, so definitely look into that. It's available as of right now, link in the description and the pinned comment. Use my link and code SHINY to get 10% off, it will really help me out. They've just restocked today, so go quickly. Oh, this part wasn't a joke by the way, like the rest of the video was. Thanks for watching, and if you like the video, subscribe. Just do it right now. Do it. And I'll see you in the next video.